I think every uh, every period in history has its some has its um, its unique features, but I think right now with the computing technology and the telecommunications technology changing so rapidly, I mean, in my lifetime, I can look at, even not in my whole life, half my life, 25 years ago, uh, computers were big monstrous things. Um, or, or they were just starting to become many, you know, many computer age was born about 25 years ago and the microcomputer age 10 years ago. So we're seeing this, this incredible momentum toward miniaturization and, and increased communications power, information processing power. So there's a, there's a revolution underway of sorts. A lot of people refer to it the information revolution or whatever, but, but um, it, it's, it's hard to imagine the compression in time over which this is happening in the improvement in computing power. Um, th this 3,000 factor of 3,000 computing power in, in just uh, in, in terms of price and performance, those two factors improving by a factor of 3,000 to 10,000 in, in 15 years is just astonishing. What else improves at that rate? What else gets better and at the same time cheaper? It's, it's one of these phenomena and it's a little bit um, hard to understand. Uh, relative to other things like automobiles, they always get more expensive. They rarely get cheaper. They get better. So it's 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 a phenomenal industry to be involved in. There's a frontier aspect to Silicon Valley. It's on the West Coast. It was one of the one of the last areas. Uh, you know, the U.S. was 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 settled from the east to the west, and so there's still a, a more of a frontier nature here than there is back east. More entrepreneurial here than it is back east. Um, I, won't, I don't want to overemphasize that because as a, as a national culture, we have a very entrepreneurial standard that's, that's, I think, substantially better than most of Europe. You go to Europe, it's much more conservative. There's a lot more value placed on the history and on the tradition and things like that. As you probably know, the East Coast has a certain amount of that as well. Um, so I think, I think we're, we're in a good spot for that kind of freedom of thought. Better, more so than, than, than Europe. I think it's part of the reason the U.S. leads in the computer industry because the computer industry is such a fast, quickly moving industry that, you know, and we, we accept it, you know, as a culture. We accept it more quickly. Our, our educated people, myself included, kind of gravitate toward it. And in Europe, it's, it's resisted. You know, these kinds of quick changes are resisted. And as a result, they're just not going to catch the wave like the like the American entrepreneur will.